Welcome to the Can't Tell Us Nothing show. This is the Can't Tell Us yes. Nothing show. We do improv based on the discussions that we have here. We like to have some topics, some discussion topics, some opinions, discuss that stuff, and then use that to inspire scenes. You'll get it. We make it up on the spot. Uh, here and there, we're in full force. Can't Tell Us Nothing is made up by me, Antoine, and we'll do a sound off because I want people to hear whose voices are who, whose. This is Amici. Um, this is John. This is Tandy. This and, is. Oh, 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 oh. I, we, that's our special guest today. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we're joined by a special guest to help us discuss things, and today is no different. D. Trey Val is in the studio at 92 K E L Z. D. Trey Val. What up, D. Trey? Thank you for joining us today, D. Trey yeah. Val. How, how's it going, man? How, how's life treating you right now? That's good, bro. <laughs> it's hey, good. Hey. <laughs> so, so you are a Houston music artist. Is yes, that sir. is that yes, your sir. full thing, or do you do more than that? I'm a, I'm a musician, man. You're a musician? Yeah, I do I do music. I produce, uh, songwriter, engineer. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what type of music do you do? Uh, predominantly, like, hip-hop-influenced music, um, but I'm really eclectic and, uh, like, open to musical arrangements. So, I mean, I listen to multiple genres of music. Nice. We actually uh, came into contact with you through Space Rhyme Continuum, correct? Yeah, definitely with James, yeah. Space Rhyme is an awesome situation. What, what is what is Space Rhyme for those um, who don't know? It's like an improv hip hop comedy show, very similar to like wilding out setups where we man make up games, and uh, we rhyme through those games, and we ha we have different types of uh, setups. Yeah. Now let me ask you this: Is that the way you come up with those uh, your your lyrics for those games? Is that all just natural born talent that you guys have kind of cultivated to be able to do that, or is that just like you guys have like a formula of how you approach it? I mean, I think anybody has a formula for something. You know, everybody has a rhyme scheme. Everybody has, like, a pattern they follow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's going to be words I'm going to pick that James is not going to pick that I'm probably going to pick more often. Syllabic phrases, anything. Uh, born with it. I might say I was. I don't know. James says he is, too. So, Do you think anybody can learn how to freestyle flow, or is that something uh, that only certain people have to To a certain about? degree. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's going to be people that are going to be able to max out the ability, and it's just going to be some people that max out of the ability. It's casual. Wait, so do you think casual. that is? you think that's a, 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 like, will, or is that, like, a genetic? I mean, genetic. It, I <laughs> 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 are you genetically predisposed to freestyling? No, 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 no. I'm just going to say, like, like, in any genre of music, but some people's voice sounds better. You know, um. So, like, that's just the law of the land. But I think ability-wise, I think anybody could, like, learn how to not suck. <laughs> 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 so be, like, in the bottom third. Mae not the top, but you're not. You're yeah. not the last. You're not last. And right? that's I mean, it. I think, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> let's just be like, there's going to be somebody that's outstanding fisherman. I'm not going to catch more fish than that man. In my max day of fishing in my life, I will probably catch four, five fish right in a row. He done caught 20 in a row. I mean, he's a max fisherman. I'm just going to be average. But isn't it like a sport? Like, don't you want to yeah. be the best? Like you. I mean, like, so I'm going to sit out there now. Is that what I want to do? Is uh -huh. I, do I really want to split 90 hours fishing? I'd rather uh -huh. me. I'm going to max out my sport. I make music. Okay. I'm going to spend 90 hours doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me, let me ask you something that I've always been curious about. So with, with people who freestyle, artists who specialize in freestyling, and then there's artists who specialize in writing, there's a lot of freestyle uh, MCs who cannot do the crossover. Why do you think that is? Because they ain't practice. You think they just need to practice more writing? Yes, because your mind's already conjuring the words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just about sitting there and focusing. Some people don't care to channel that energy because I'm a predominantly freestyle artist mm -hmm. and I put myself in situations where I got to write even though I might write three verses and inside of my freestyle to track I still wrote those three verses mm -hmm. like, yeah, you like you like a freestyle battle <laughs> I mean I like the I just I'm competitive so yeah but um like as a career choice nah not really because I don't feel like it just uses my musical ability to, uh, like, Make max potential. Uh, not just, see, I, I'm cocky about me. Uh -oh. So I, I'm I'm always going at it, like, like you're going to blacken the sun, then we'll fight in the shade. Yeah, but I mean, like, like the freestyle battle market now has, like, they're now organized, and there's yeah. promoters that make money off of talented nah, people, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but that's, 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 
I'm I'm a, I'm gonna still go at it and dominate like if I apply. <laughs> but it's not the best use for my musical ability. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't really choose to do it. It's fun. I like to do it, but I'm not gonna try to be a professional uh, rap battler. I mean, there's some guys. <laughs> that's the max of their musical ability. That's the, when they're at the pinnacle, bro. Me, I'm I'm the pinnacle in the studio. I'm pinnacle when it's like sounds being created, you know, energy being transferred in a different sense. Mm. All right, we cut to the inside the studio with some record execs and the artists. Hey, uh, Road Dog, um, this is just not working for us, man. I mean, you are just tearing people up in the streets, man. That's Left right. Left right, man. That's you right. You can't make a damn song. I don't need to, man. I'm tearing people up in the streets. <laughs> you know, that's that's where my max is right now, man. But, but we're trying to capitalize on that, man. There's a money grab right now for rappers like you. Mm-hmm. All right? But you got to make a song. We can't sell a freestyle of you filleting some dude in a warehouse. That's not Why selling not? right now. Why not? Because there's too many hype men that get crunk over the over the beat. You got a problem with my hype man? Yes. You it's have not a lot of hype men. You yeah. have a lot. There's a lot of hype men. Yeah. There's a reason for that, man. The hype men hype me up, and I hype them up. It's a it's a reciprocal thing. Yo, sorry for interrupting. Yo, my man, my man, my there man, my is. man, my man. How this, How this meeting going, man? How this meeting going, man? This meeting wasn't good until you got here, man. Oh, what's up, man? Now I was popping off. That's what now I'm the talking meeting about. Got better. That's why I'm sitting in the corner right here, not gonna leave. I gotta hype my man up. Yeah, that's my meeting man. My I, meeting I thought, hype man. I thought we requested that we have this meeting without your hype man. Yeah. I saw the request and I said. Bunk that. Bunk man. that. <laughs> Bunk that. Denied. Denied. I'm the meeting hype man. That's what I do. My boy go in for meetings. He want to find out if he going to be the top rap baller. Bam. There I am. Meeting hype man. That's right. I ran, I ran that request through my, my hype man, hype man Murphy. And he said, nah. So I said, nah. And that's why we're here. I also double as a lawyer. What? He passed the ball. Mm-hmm. You passed the ball. I did. Okay. Um, so... You you can understand a financial contract, right? Show me that contract. Well, well, what I wanted to just show you guys is that we've lost so much money that we know how to have a budget for your album. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me these financial papers. Say, my man, my man, Road Dog. What's up? What I need, I need my financial hype man to step in on oh, this. Oh, okay, okay. I need the financial hype man to come on in and help me make out what's going on. All right. All bring right. Him in. Bring him in. Come on in, financial hype man. What? 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 Yo. That's what I'm talking about, man. Listen, take a look at these financial records. You got some numbers for me to see? I got some numbers for you, you to, got see. Some for me to see. I got numbers. some numbers for you to see. Let me get those numbers. 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 He, pulls out, he pulls out a calculator on the DJ equipment. Pick a pick a boop. Oh! Look at them sick number beats. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, these numbers don't look very good. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. That's why you the best number hype man. You, the, man. The, wait, the wait, man. you had to do all of that to see that the numbers weren't good. I told you they weren't good. I, mean, I can run them again. Like, like, no, you don't need to please run them again. Run them again. Man, don't let that man stop your shot. <laughs> yeah, on the second calculation, these are still bad numbers. Oh, That was my point. Is We don't have a budget to promote you anymore because you've been spending too much money with your hype man. So what are, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying you got to go back to the warehouse. And do what? You got to go back where you came from. You got to go back to the streets. I said I'm never going back where I came we, from. We never going back, well, man. You, never you going lie. Back. <laughs> because we don't have... You saw the numbers, right, hype man, financial guy? I did. The numbers said that you lied to them. You have to go back. You need to, you need to beat somebody, get some more money so that we can put it behind this album, man. See, you need to make up your mind, man. Because you were telling me that me beating people was a problem. Now you're telling me it's the solution? Bro, I need to bring my logic hype man in. Where's my logic need, hype man? need your logic hype <laughs> man? And scene. <laughs> 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 it's pretty much like that, right? Pretty much like that. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more content from Can't Tell Us Nothing.